We've been busy, ladies and gents. We've been very busy. So, between episodes, I kind of got very close to this building. And this building is literally just pumped with Zeds. It's ridiculous, and I'm going to try and avoid it from now on. So I literally wanted to take out... I think there were maybe two groups down here. And, yeah, we ended up just getting stung with about 100 Zeds just flooding out of that building. So it was very, very much this, but maybe 15 Zeds at a time. Heading back even slightly closer, and they come flooding out again. And, yeah, just just carnage, really. Not very exciting carnage either, but a lot of Zeds down. It's a big old win. But, yeah, welcome back to the channel. It's Warren here, and today we are... Kicking off <laughs> with a little wave from Diego. We're starting along the main road that leads up to the police department. Now I know we spent a lot of time pushing for this quest in the last episode, but today I reckon we've got a much higher chance of achieving it. And I think with just a little bit of work, it doesn't even need to be anything too crazy. We can probably pull this off today. I'd be very surprised if we can't. But yes, yeah, it's, it's looking promising already really. I've replaced quite a few of the hunting knives that I lost just taking out this ridiculous amount of Zeds. Cleared another level of long blade? No, we're about halfway through. Got that level at the end of the last episode. But we're coming along nicely. So it's it's a lot more Zeds than I expected to see, if I'm honest. I thought a shotgun run would have paid off a hell of a lot more and we're not even close yet. So I don't really have my hopes too high for the main centre of town. But with any luck, it's it's manageable. If it's this quiet, maybe even double this, we should be able to get in there in no time. And we can actually push our way in from the outside in, rather than working from the inside out, which will be wonderful. I'm so ready for that. Something I've never achieved in the countless amount of hours I have in this game. So crossing it off the list is just going to basically add another personal trophy. And I can't wait for that. It's been a very long time. Very, very long time since I've done something that I haven't done in this game, if that makes sense. Uh, we may get pushed back just a little bit more. A lot of it is thanks to this big old drill, though. He says, missing them on the first hurdle. Come on. Uh, crossed. Yeah, you don't want to get pinned between two groups, I can tell you that. <laughs> That's a recipe for disaster. Come on, fellas. I wouldn't mind that hand, actually. Duck and weave. Duck and weave. Whoa. Yeah, I did actually gain a machete at the end of last episode, too. Wow, between episodes. Turns out someone we killed in a shotgun run was winning the game of bread knife and machete all along. It was the first one I found for a little while, and will probably be the last, but that game does work sometimes, usually off camera. <laughs> Classic, I know. But yeah, we're doing well. Doing well on the stockpiled weapons front. Especially with the long blades. So they're coming in at the perfect time. Just as we've finished up our other weapon and we're looking for a new weapon. So I can't really complain. Yeah, I'm going to work my way through the rest of these. And hopefully it's pretty smooth sailing from there. That group was pretty much the whole thing holding us back. So glad I cleared those through. So literally, that is the big building. Ah. Okay, yeah, master of speaking too soon, once again. There's a lot of Zeds down here. We need to stick as close to this wall as possible. And hopefully not break any more windows, because that's just dra dragging them straight across. Ah, come on, lads. Brilliant. Another broken weapon. Tell you what though, I think this hunter knife has been more handy than any other weapon. Still our favourite weapon. So the thing is an absolute king. Cordless drill has been a game changer though. Those little one stabs have got me out so many jams, it's unreal. But yeah, I really, really don't know how he's made it this far. The amount of close calls we've had and just stupid things like that that we keep on doing. Don't know how he's getting away with it, but. Oh, I'm not complaining at all. I think it might be worth cleaning these buildings out, you know. It's almost like 
every time we get pushed back, we're just dragging more and more from out here. Hopefully, these couple of little kills just drag them on out. Always one awkward one. Let's just have a little sneaky sneaky. Maybe even rest. No one really came. Here we go. Now we're talking. Do not want to be stuck in here. I think this building might be the main main worry, really. Oh, brilliant. That's a lot of Zeds. Ooh. No more sillies. Nice. Ooh. Almost. I might just check the send room as well, just in case. Ah. Very nice. Give me Miss Growly. I can hear you. I can see you. I can probably taste your blood now. Nice. All right, let's keep on keeping on. Uh, that's a lot of Zeds. Oh, my brain just, just told me to keep on running. Where's a forest gump? <laughs> Paying off in the end. So easy to get lulled into that false hope in these buildings. See one or two Zeds and think it's completely safe. Terrible idea. Don't do what I do. <laughs> oh man, if we went down there, probably would have thrived. So I feel like this could potentially be the only character we're ever going to be able to push into Louisville with. And if he doesn't make it, it's going to be a very sad day. We're also out of food. Jam delights. You're absolutely going to have some sugar for me. One big bag of sugar, please. Or a little cookie. Anything that isn't rotten, I'm more than happy with. Interesting. I don't know where you guys are coming from, but I'm on board with it. Can't break them down. Get it all in. Yeah. Good night. Alright, can we get anything out of here that isn't rotten? No. I miss the days when those little donuts just never used to rot. So nice getting in a late game and having a nice little treat. Now, if you don't catch it on day one, you're never going to have that sweet treat again. It's a sad time. Although you can still make cakes. It's the little things. I never, never added another knife to the belt. Beautiful. See ya. All right, we're looking good. Let's get another knife out. Play it safe. The laundrette's busy. Oh, it's a vet. Oh, that's probably why. Is it a vet or is it a hospital? Animal hospital. It is a vet. There's four abandoned animals. I can't wait for animals in this game. Imagine coming to an animal hospital and finding a dog. Just waiting for you. All already cared for. Just, just chilling. It's going to be a good day. <laughs> He does it. Just want to get this building out of the way and then we should be pretty smooth sailing. So building opposite is basically done. I mean, we're still going to be dragging Zeds from it, but for the most part, should really leave us alone. Small hunting knife. Ah, oh, brilliant. Should leave us alone. Doesn't mean they will. I just want a little forward base out here. I did spot one on a corner. That's the one that I want to get to, but it's getting there that's the issue. Making it safe. Don't even want to go there. <laughs> no, 
There we go. Lovely job. I mean, we could always use the animal hospital if there's a bed. All we need is one of those little medical beds. I reckon we go sneaky from here. Come on. As soon as they start falling out those windows, they're going to start grabbing. Right, please give me a spear. Butter knife. Not really the best one, but I'll take the free gains. Yeah. Guess they didn't fancy the window. Guess they fancy the other window. Fair enough. I won't argue, argue with your pathfinding. Right. Stab, stab, stab. Pick off as many as we can. Oh, they broke a door. I was just going to say that's going to pull a lot of Zeds. Okay. Uh, be on the ball. Don't get caught slacking here. There we go. Okay. Sweet. Oh, the fear. And there's a hell of a lot of it. Scalpel. Good bit of gear, to be fair. Uh, there's got to be a bed somewhere. It's all just going to be operating tables, isn't it? Yeah. Classic. Oh, we can always fill up a water bottle, at least. There's got to be something. I mean, there's bound to be something upstairs, but it sounds pretty sketchy. Yeah, there is a chair. That's got to be the start to the upstairs. Let's have a quick sneak peek in the kit. Oh, that's literally exactly what I'm looking for. Cereal and sugar. No, it's not a lunchbox. Is that a cookie? Hey. Oat milk cookie. Uh, Apocalypse in style now. Ah, just a bathroom. Waste of my time. Nothing in there, was there? No. Computer to break down. It's got to be a stairwell. Big old kennel. It's got to be a key. If I can get those open and get a bed on one of those, we're laughing. Nah, still a bit sketchy, I know, but... Oh, they broke down door number two. You guys aren't playing games. And we're, we're getting tired. Yeah, that exhaustion is a killer. I think I panic more of exhaustion than anything else. So not being able to sprint has probably killed me more times than anything else. It's hard work. Did we just lose a knife? Yeah, we did. Your face is not where that knife belongs, my friend. Straight on my pocket. Quick rest. Now we take the upstairs by storm. We can do it. It is doable. Ah. It's doable if there is an upstairs. Turns out there is not. Classic. Okay, alright. Um, back to the drawing board then. Uh, we can always bring a chair in there and sleep on that. It's not the most ideal situation, but it is a good last resort. We're close too. We are very close. If we can maybe get to one of those corners... See what the crack is there. And then just kind of work with it. That's all we can do. Yeah, with the crowds out here, we're going to need something. Pretty soon as well. It's good for our sneaking skill, though. Lightfoot's getting some good gains, too. That's a lot of Zeds. I wonder if the gun is silent here. I 
think it might have been, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, it's run zero attention at all. I'm expecting a lot in this corner. Ah, they're behind the, behind the thing. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, we're probably far enough from Zeds to be able to make a little bit of noise now. Gross, you move quick. That's where we want to be. Ah, there we're going to start floating around. Okay, uh, think about this before you act on it, boy. Um, best way to solve this issue head on. We just kind of like to keep the Zeds behind us at bay. It's my only worry. So if I could go back and take them all before during these, I would. But we're in it now. Come on. Right. Yeah, let's 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 dip out. I'm going to get ourselves hair out of the was. Ah, it's going to be a sad day. Now, if I can, if I can keep them all on this path, though. There's a fence to our advantage a bit. Tree. Please do not get in the way. Honestly, wish you could see my face right now. Tongues like poking out the mouth and everything, the concentration's strong. <laughs> ah, I get in a dark room. Do not like it. Ah, there was a hunter knife in there though. Someone at the back door. That actually went perfectly according to plan. Nice, nice, nice. That's a lot of Zeds. Ah, that's even more Zeds. Uh, and they're flocking in. Yeah, screw this. Let's let's get out of here. Do the smart thing in this situation and run away. If only I just put that chair in the back room, would have been fine. We would have been fine. Christ. Where are all of these coming from? Their migration is unreal, man. That's ridiculous. All right, either way, let's head back home and go to bed. Do this the right way. That looks sharp. That looks very sharp. Are we going to get lucky? Are we finally going to get one on camera? It's a better thing. Are we going to get lucky? No, no we're not. We're quite lucky there, though. That's not too bad. A couple of good breakdowns just there. And a new battery. Nice. Been keeping my eyes peeled for one of those. So we're starting to run dry on the hand torch. And it would be nice to have a little backup for those cordless drills. So I'm trying to trying to repair as much as possible. Always like keeping things for as long as I can. I tend to get a little bit attached to inanimate objects for some bizarre reason. But yeah, a weapon that stayed with me forever, I will repair all day long over picking up a brand new weapon. It's just something in it, you know. That's what I'm dreading getting animals. It's it's kind of a a love hate idea with the animals because I will get attached to it. Any game with an animal is literally my new best friend. When we're playing uh Ghost of Sushima and the horse in that just had me hooked from start to finish. Red Dead Redemption, same horse from day one. You just can't beat them, can you? You really can't. Uh, where did that hand axe go? There we go. Beautiful. It's good fun. It's good fun, but it's also very sad. I'm kind of hoping. Ah, they haven't. They really haven't. So I'm hoping all the ones up here have migrated out, but... It looks like they've just got even more dense. There's still one behind us. Three behind us. Lovely. Let's just drop back a touch. Get out the old 
Cordy Drill. Yeah, nothing in there. That Zed fell out the window. It's not looking good. Oh. Right, let's just dip back. We need a beta blocker. The last one in the tube. Plenty more at home, but don't think I've got any in the bag. Drop back. Oh, I don't like it. I really don't like it. Don't know why. My fighting's actually been pretty good today, but it's just something about this journey that's just got me so scared. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's taken so long. Plans finally starting to come together, and we're probably facing the hardest, probably toughest days we've had since we started. We've made it as far as the animal hospital, or the vet as I like to call it. Nice and easy. It doesn't actually look too bad. I thought it was going to be a hell of a lot worse. So we've had, we had that little herd by us that, well, the last one that I cleared, and then one tiny little one in between. But other than that, it's been pretty cruisy. So I would like to take care of these guys just because those broken windows are going to cause a racket and going to cause problems. We don't want problems. That is the last thing we want. And, okay. This is what's happened to all of the groups that were attacking us. <laughs> Let's just make short work of these bad boys, and then we should be good to move on. So I think what I would like to do is make this a little forward base, though. I reckon this place is the one. So those little cage doors, jail cell doors, are probably the strongest doors in the game. They're unreal. So if I can build a little base in one of those, wow, not even really a base, just get a bed set up and put a little front door on this. That's going to be the best way to get through all of this, really. So I think, a safety perspective, we kind of need somewhere to sleep that's secure. I don't want to be fighting around countless Zeds every time we just want to catch our breath. So if I can make this place somewhat safe, you're joking. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah, uh, where's the closest car? It's going to be that Jeep. It's going to be the Jeep. I need to get that and take it very far away. I know it's going to come soon. Didn't think it would be this soon. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Come on, just... Just leave, please. I've had enough of all of you. I wish I kept a katana on me. So it might actually be quite a fun call to just sit and slash Zeds. Uh, where have we got to go? I think it's literally just to this corner. All right, well, that completely goes our objective. There's no way we're accomplishing this now. Not today. Um, we don't want to break that window, do we? No. I'm starting to wish I had that katana even more. Because I drive on the right, you guys do not. You guys are weird. <laughs> Alright, let's get this puppy hot wide. Or, even better, find a key. No key. Of course not. Didn't have hopes up for it, to be fair. Come on. There we go. Now just start. Alright, let's get out and slay some sides. Made that mistake before, I'm not doing it again. Ooh, and a new toy. Thank you, man. Okay. Getting a little bit busier. Starting to like it less and less. Come on. Good lad. Is that enough time? Oh, it's already running, you're joking. Come on. There we go. Alright, where do I want to go? Probably not down the main road. Don't really want to go back this way either, for this reason. 
Ah, oh, yeah, this is a terrible idea. Um, maybe we take a left. If I can't just head back to... Back to the booze van, and then follow it through to the military checkpoint up in the corner. That's probably the best way to get through this. I don't want to be stirring up more trouble than we need to stir up, basically. He says, got to take a confident beep every now and then, don't you? <laughs> but yeah, I reckon get back to that corner. Maybe even eat some rabbits whilst we're out there and just have fun. He could probably use the rest anyway. Yeah, let's, let's head out and wait out the heli. It's the only good idea I've got. So I had a slight change of plan on the drive out, and I reckon the southern military base could be quite fun. Wow, I thought that, and now I'm very, very, very much so regretting my decisions. There are so many Zeds down there. So many Zeds. This could be the worst idea I've had in a very long time. Even worse than the shotgun run we just pulled off. Oh, I don't really know what I was thinking with that, but... It looks pretty sketchy. We could potentially use that M16, which would also be quite fun. Or we could get stuck in a jam and probably end up dead. But either way, I feel like we could get an exciting trip out of it. So I think if we can head down here and pull all of these Zeds back, we did draw a lot in with that fire and also a lot in with the shotgun run. We ended up quite far down this way. So there's a potential that this place is a little bit safer than the Northern Military Checkpoint. A very, very slim chance that it is, but you never know. I'm kind of willing to play those dice and just kind of play the game and see how we go. Also loving the chaos at the minute, so we may as well just add to the, to the roster of it, really. We're not too far out. Hopefully, this is kind of the worst of it. Our truck's held up though, which is nice, so I've gone for a hell of a lot of Zeds, so fingers crossed we still have a decent engine by the time we get home. But, here we are. Straight in the brakes, get that puppy open, I'm going to leave this open too. If Zeds want to stroll in they can, but I would like to keep hold of that door. Fingers crossed we do. And then, I guess a truck could always block this entrance. I mean, it's not going to do an excellent job, but we can try. A boy can dream. And then, yeah, just hole up in the house for a few days and hope for the best. So we've got, got a handful of weapons, got plenty of ammo, and I believe there's a fair amount of food in here. Yeah, tons of food. We'll be fine. Whatever happens, happens. I'm going to get some sleep and wait out the rest of this. I know it's quite early doors, but I'm basically going to sit in here and do nothing. So, yeah, I'll see you on the other side. We're up, we're well fed, and we're getting some snow. I'm excited for this. You have no idea. I've been waiting for snow for so long. We've only got a couple of Zeds in so far. I'm just going to check the perimeter on foot. Fingers crossed it's not too bad, but I am expecting the worst. We did have a katana down here too that I've grabbed out. So, if anything comes to it, we can just tread our way through with a long blade. We have got the gun in our pouch too, just as a backup, with plenty of backup magazines. But it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. I mean, the further out we get, of course, it's going to get a little rough as hell. But for the most part, we look alright. I think I might also try and kill a few days down here. Try and double back just a touch. But yeah, I might try and kill a few days down here and just kind of see how we go. I don't think heading back up north where... Basically where we were is going to be a great idea. That heli is going to roll them up for at least three, maybe four days. There we go. Finally get some swings back in. So yeah, it's going to be going to be pretty dicey, a little bit sketchy, and probably not really something I want to sink my teeth into just yet. But we'll see how we go. So I mean, come tomorrow that'll probably change. And I've got another spear too. Love a new spear. I can break this one off. We'll be right. Easy double -double. Lovely. Oh, cowboy hat. I still haven't got a hat for him. And the cowboy hats are always just unreal. And it does kind of suit him too. 
fits his badassery, if you know what I mean. I mean, if you don't know what I mean, you have not been watching the series. He is a wild man. But yeah, I don't think we actually look too bad. I'm kind of surprised at how quiet it is. Brilliant. Sack you off, trade you out for you. Drop back a touch, and one big stab for the boy. There we go. Lovely job. All right, well, I think on that nice quiet note, I might actually call it a day. There we go. Let's just head back to base and see if anyone's found their way back. It doesn't look like they have. All right, well, I think I might call it a day up on the old catwalk. It's been a while since we've been down there. Kind of excited for it. Kind of tempted to take a gun out, but we'll see how we go. For now, though, I'm going to love you and leave you just there. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks for member support on the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.